Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and Thursday means one thing, we've got an exciting new update for Space Engineers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on in this week's update. Well, the first thing I want to have a look at is you can see the visor of the character itself. Now, I'm not sure how long this has been integrated, but I've only just spotted it in this recent update, but you can see the reflection is much clearer with the visor itself. So you can see we've got a station, we've got the red ship that is actually out there in the distance, and you can see the platform in some detail, and it's quite nice to actually see that reflection, and it'll probably translate to other pieces of glass as well. But let's actually get onto the meat of this update. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is Alt F10, and this actually brings up the Space Master. And this is a new tool to help server admins actually control their servers a little bit more effectively. So from top to bottom, we've got Enable Creative Mode Tools. So you can actually build in Spectator. You can build scenarios on the go. This is going to be really cool to use. You can also select the characters. And you've got some options for cycling through. So you've got characters, biggest objects, most wheels. So you can quickly find the object you need if you need to disable something or create a situation for a player to have to solve. So you could go in, damage a reactor, then the player has to stall and fix that situation so let's actually have a look so we've got the biggest grids we can actually tick that on so we've got the station appearing and we can go through them next we can go to the large red ship and then we've also got the large blue ship we can cycle back and we've also got some weird sort of dolphin ship out in space this is new i've not seen that dolphin ship very interesting anyway let's go back to characters so we can select a character and find ourselves now if we go a different little bit lower we can actually see we've got fixed stations, stationary. So this just help us in removing items as well. So if I tick removal, trash removal, you'll actually see the items will be selected that have to do with that. So stationary, we can tick that. Let's um, stop trash for a moment and remove the trash that we need to. There we go. Items with less than 20 blocks, player control, got back access to that, perfect. And then we can actually count and tick on this. So by ticking on the small option, this will actually show the trash information so you can see we've got these red squares here. And what's quite cool about this is it says not less than 20 blocks. And if we go quickly back to that, we've got this search choir sort of criteria here for trash. So we can actually increase that to 100 and it'll say it's not less than 100 blocks. So it won't be removed when we hit the remove trash button at the bottom. So this will really help any sort of server admin add his own scenarios, help build missions on the fly, as well as control the amount of trash that's left on the server. Really great feature. The only thing I'm going to have to say is the multiplayer still will have to gain leaps and bounds in stability before people are really going to be able to capitalize on this feature. So another great feature about the Space Master is that you can actually teleport the character around so the server admin can actually access areas and quickly deal with problems as well. So if we want to access over here, we simply hit control space character teleports over there and we can deal with our admin dispute now we can also access the spectator mode he can build and do a whole variety of other fun things too but we've covered that enough let's hop on to having a look at the building within cockpits so to take a look at the final feature that is building from within the cockpit itself i've actually switched over to another world and we've got the construction ship out and this is really simple but it's really useful for in a survival sort of sense so we've actually got our ship here and we hit control and g turns building mode on and we can actually place our block so we select the block we want and we can start placing and if we we're in survival mode we could weld that up now something to bear in mind with this is the cockpit has to be connected up to a parts container so you can see the container at the back the cockpit underneath there would have to be connected to that rear point or the items would have to be in my inventory for me to actually place it so that's something to take consideration and another drawback to this is you can't remote build so you can't have a drone that remotely controlled by you and then you can build from that. Maybe that's something for the future, I don't know, but it was brought up in the comments below. Now, moving a little bit further on, the final thing I'm going to talk about is the planetary teaser trailer. Now, this one didn't really offer us too much or give too much away, but if you look really closely at the planet as it zooms out, we see both a desert and woodland sort of biome together. So this says to me, maybe these will coexist with on the same sort of planet. So that's quite interesting. And another cool feature is that the snow biome will probably exist with them as well. So the planets might have multiple different sorts of biomes all existing in one sort of instance because the player actually transmits the message from the snow biome here. But rather cool, rather interesting, a nice little update, and I'll see you next time.